EVOL is the third studio album by the American alternative rock band Sonic Youth. It was released in May 1986 by SST Records, the band's first release on the label. The album is notable for being the first with a new drummer, Steve Shelley, replacing Bob Burt, and for showing signs of the band's transition from their no wave past toward a greater pop sensibility. Despite not being successful at the time, the album has received retrospective praise. Pitchfork said that EVOL was where the seeds of greatness were sown and placed the album 31st on their top 100 albums of the 1980s list, alongside Sonic U's next two albums, Sister and Daydream Nation, which ranked 14th and 1st, respectively. <laughs> <laughs> Background and recording In June 1985, during the Bad Moon Rising tour, Burt left the band and was replaced by Shelley. The new lineup quickly began working on new material for their third album. The band signed to SST as, by 1986, label founder Greg Ginn was anxious for the label to move away from its American hardcore roots. Sonic Youth took a break from the tour and finished the writing for EVOL. In March 1986, the band recorded the album at BC Studio with New York recording icon Martin Bissey. EVOL was the second time that the band had worked with New York singer and performance artist Lydia Lunch. Lunch had shared vocals on Bad Moon Rising's Death Valley 69, and on this record, she co-wrote the song Marilyn Moore. Mike Watt played bass guitar on the tracks, In the Kingdom No. 19, and the band's cover of, Bubblegum. The band encouraged him to play on the former track shortly after Watt's fellow Minutemen band member D. Boone died in a car crash. Coincidentally, the song is also about a car crash. Watt had entered a severe depression following Boone's death and was considering leaving his career in music behind. He credited the time he spent with the members of Sonic Youth during the recording of EVOL as a major factor in his decision to re-enter the music world. Watt's next band, Firehose, would support Sonic Youth on their Flaming Telepaths tour. During this time, the band began the Sakoni Youth Project, which featured all members of Sonic Youth and Watt. They released a single consisting of three tracks, Into the Groove Why? A cover of Madonna's hit, Into the Groove, incorporating snippets of her recording and the short, Tough Titty Rap, on the A-side, both performed by the Sonic Youth members, and Burnin' Up, performed by Watt with additional guitars by Ginn, on the B-side. The project resulted in 1988's The Whitey Album. On the vinyl version of the album, the time length for Expressway to Year, Skull, was indicated by the infinity symbol infinity. The final moment of the song featured a locked groove, making it theoretically endless. The CD version added a bonus track, the band's cover of the Kim Fowley tune, Bubblegum. According to Watt, he and Shelley played the basic rhythm track over the actual Fowley record, which was afterwards removed when the other members added their parts. Topic. Packaging The album cover features a picture of model, actress Lung Leg, a still taken from Submit to Me. Leg had previously appeared in the Death Valley 69 music video. The back cover shows a black and white picture of the band in a heart-shaped frame. The album's ten songs are listed in a different order than the actual track listing. The members' names are listed on the back cover as well, although no instruments are assigned for them. It reads, Guitars, Vocals, Drums, with Bass, hidden beneath the photograph of the band. The insert features the lyrics to the songs and the A-side depicts Thurston Moore, with eyes drawn on his hands, holding them up to his face. 
This photograph was later used for the cover of the Star Power single. The other side contains pictures from horror movies Friday the 13th Part 2 and Children of the Corn, with a blacked out image of two ladies in the upper right corner. Topic. Promotion Sonic Youth debuted the new material for EVOL on April 12, 1986 in Austin, Texas. A recording of that show was later released in 1992 as Live at the Continental Club. EVOL was released in May 1986 by SST on vinyl and cassette. The band toured Europe in May and June, performing tracks from the album Although, In the Kingdom No. 19, and Bubblegum were never played live. The band also debuted White Cross, which was later featured on Sister. Following the European tour, they toured America in June and July. In July, the band released the only single from EVOL, Star Power. It was backed by Bubblegum and an edited version of Expressway to Year, Skull. A video was never released for Star Power. However, a video for Shadow of a Doubt was released, directed by Kevin Kerslake and featuring Gordon sitting on a train. After the tour, the band recorded the Made in USA soundtrack, but it was not released until 1995. EVOL was released on CD in late 1986. Topic critical reception EVOL has been well received by critics. Robert Christgau, with whom the band had sparred in previous years, gave the album a B+. It ranked number four among the Albums of the Year by NME. Slant Magazine, who placed EVOL at number 82 on their Best Albums of the 1980s list, described it as one of Sonic U's strangest albums and a difficult album that's nonetheless one of the best latter-day invocations of No Wave Chaos. Pitchfork described the album as the true departure point of Sonic U's musical evolution. In measured increments, Thurston Moore and Lee Ronaldo began to bring form to the formless, tune to the tuneless, and with the help of Steve Shelley's drums, they imposed melody and composition on their trademark dissonance. Pitchfork went on to say that EVOL was where the seeds of greatness were sown, and placed it 31st on their list of the top 100 albums of the 1980s. Trouser Press labeled it a near masterpiece, and Stephen Thomas Earlywine of AllMusic gave it a 4.5 star review, writing that EVOL is a stunningly fluent mixture of avant garde instrumentation and subversions of rock and roll. <laughs> Topic. Track listing All tracks written by Sonic Youth Thurston Moore, Kim Gordon, Lee Ronaldo, Steve Shelley, except where noted, note, Expressway to Year, Skull, was listed on the back cover as, Madonna, Sean and Me, and on the lyric sheet as, The Crucifixion of Sean Penn. Note, Secret Girl, was listed as, Secret Girls on the inner label of the LP release. Topic. Personnel Sonic Youth Thurston Moore, Vocals, Guitar, Synthesizer, Production Kim Gordon, Vocals, Bass Guitar, Guitar, Piano, Shadow of a Doubt, Production Lee Ronaldo, guitar, vocals, production, sleeve photography. Steve Shelley, drums, programming, production guest musicians. Mike Watt, bass guitar. In the Kingdom number no. 19. Bubblegum. Production. Martin Bissey, production, engineering. JG, John Golden, mastering. equals equals release history.